Welcome back everyone and welcome to the weekend. We're looking at another nice but slightly warm day tomorrow. Front looks to arrive on Sunday and then fall like conditions as we head to the majority of next week. More on that here in just a little bit, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the bigger picture and high pressure large and in charge across the Gulf of Mexico, keeping things relatively quiet across our region. Now the next trough looking to build across uh, portions of the Pacific Northwest this evening and that's going to look to deliver our next cold front as we head into Sunday with much cooler weather to follow as we head into next week. Meanwhile, out in the tropics, few things we continue to keep an eye on the remnants of Ada continuing out to sea. Theta already out to sea and that's where it's going to remain. But as of this afternoon, we had our 30th named tropical system of the season form out here in the Caribbean Sea. Tropical storm Iota starting to get a little bit better organized here this evening and it is expected to strengthen over the next several days as it takes advantage of the very warm waters out here in the Caribbean Sea. Now here's a 9 o'clock advisory winds at 40 miles per hour moving to the south southwest at 3 miles per hour and not the best track for forecast for our friends out in Central America. If you recall about a week or so ago, they were impacted by Hurricane Ada and now here comes Iota now forecasted to be a major category three hurricane here upon landfall in Central America sometime on Monday evening into early Tuesday. So heavy rainfall, damaging winds, mudslides all expected once again here uh, for Central America. Now that front that's going to be moving across our region will help to keep this system well south of the Gulf of Mexico uh, here as it continues to move westward with time eventually weakening as we head into the middle parts of next week. So not going to be a threat to the Gulf of Mexico nor to us here in Acadiana. Meanwhile, here we go locally. Pretty quiet start tomorrow morning. We'll see mainly sunny skies through the morning time frame and then a few mid to high passing clouds as we head throughout your Saturday afternoon. It's going to be another warm one with those high temperatures topping out in the lower 80s. Here comes our cold front for Sunday morning, helping to spark off a few scattered showers across the region. Front looks to move through Sunday afternoon with gradual clearing uh, throughout Sunday afternoon and then temperatures are going to fall off quickly quickly Sunday night into Monday morning with low temperatures Monday morning starting out in the mid 40s. So mid to upper 50s overnight tonight into your Saturday morning. We'll be back into the lower 80s tomorrow afternoon and then barely dropping into the 60s for Sunday morning. Here comes the front and then we'll be topping out in the mid 70s for Sunday afternoon and then the cold air looks to arrive here as we head into Monday morning. Check it out. Morning start into the lower and mid 40s and then we'll struggle to reach the mid 60s by Monday afternoon right around the lunch time hour. So pretty quiet night ahead. We'll see clear skies with low temperatures dropping back into the mid and upper 50s. Pretty nice start to the weekend. Tomorrow we'll see mainly sunny skies out there. A little bit of a breeze tomorrow afternoon. We'll see south southeasterly winds picking up at around 8 to 14 miles per hour with those high temperatures once again returning to the lower 80s. Best rain chances in the 10 day forecast comes on Sunday again ahead of that cold front and then we are on cruise control as we head to the majority of next week. We're talking high temperatures in the lower to mid 70s and overnight lows mainly in the 40s. Now to do it for weather we have much more coming up right after the break.